a beer now from a Belgium artisan brewery that's practically only a year old and whose name was influenced by hummingbirds. See me walking around on the boy about town that you heard of. See me walking the streets on the top of the world that you heard of. It's a beer o'clock and from a relatively new Belgium artisan microbrewery, we have a bottle of their Picafleur, which is a hazy blonde wheat beer, coming in at 6.3% ABV. Now, this is quite a, an interesting um, story, this. Well, first of all, I want to sh give a big shout out to Joe Buys, one of my subscribers, Joe Buys, for sending me this bottle of beer in. Um, he messaged me um, emailed me and sort of said, could he send some um, exclusive Belgian beers in from microbreweries and that? And I received a lovely box of beer off of off of Joe. And yes, there are some exclusive um, brewery beers that I've never heard of, and I certainly had never heard of of Picaflor before. So thank you very much, Joe, for that. Now let's move on to this to Picaflor and the story of this brewery. Now. A fellow, a fellow owns it, it's called Stefan, okay, and he sort of, he sort of about 2015, five years ago, um, he decided that he wanted to brew beer, so he started to see if he could, if he could brew beer in the kitchen, and then he went off on a holiday to South America, okay, and that's when he got his inspiration to go, okay, I'm gonna do this. So he comes back in 2017 and starts the process of messing around to get his recipes right. And it takes him a couple of years, believe it or not, to get the recipes. And what he works out is he uses all these hops and stuff from all over the world. And he works out, he's better off just using the Belgium stuff, <laughs> right? Because that's where he's, his taste buds t kept taking him is, is he preferred the taste with the Belgium ingredients. So off he gets some, in, gets some, um, gets his brewery ready and gets his recipes ready. And he actually opens it up on the 14th of July, 2019. So we're nearly reviewing this on, on the year birthday of the brewery. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite interesting this. Um, so that's the story behind the Picaflor Pick Brewery. And like I say in the, in the beginning, is the name Picaflor is is basically hum, um, hummingbirds. Um, in 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 um, in South America, it's, it's a Picaflor is a hummingbird, so that's hence the name. And you've actually got the hummingbird on on the label with its beak in the beer, which is a nice sort of artwork there. So without further ado, let's crack this open. Let's get it in a glass and see what it's like. Cool, a bit of smoke come out the top of that. I knew, I knew it was gonna be lively. <laughs> Let that settle a bit. We got a lively one here. Which is good. Look at that whole glass of foam. Yeah, it's when you, when I poured it and it made that. When I when I opened it, it went like that. I thought, oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of gas in this, but that's not a bad thing. There we go. It's starting to settle now quite quickly. We can start taking a look at it anyway. <laughs> it's, as you can see, it's it's that beautiful, hazy, golden yellow color. It's got a fantastic foam head on the beer, um, tight foam head. Um, we can probably get the aromas off of it as it stands. Oh. First thing it hits you is is, is, is the candied yeast. 
the candied sugars, that bubble gum sensation that you get with, with Belgian beers. Oh, the floral hops as well. I'm getting a bit of coriander. Everything you expect from a, a good Belgian beer. Let's uh, get some more beer in here so we can get some in here. See what I am getting in here. I am getting a little bit of ginger. Very, very faint, the ginger. But this beer just smells divine. Oh, I've got to dive in. It's, it's going to be messy look with all this foam, but I need to dive in. Oh yes. If you like your duvels, if you like your deliriums, if you like your filu, because I tell you what, this is very, very similar to filu, right? You are going to love this beer. This is absolutely awesome. This is so good. And in matter of fact, it's reminding me a bit about Falou as well, because Falou is quite a lively beer as well. Um, oh, this is, this is, this is great. This is knocker. And the worst one is, and this is, I haven't even got the the yeasty bits in yet. It's, oh, it's got that sharpness to it. Um, it's got that funk, that, 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 that Belgian yeast funk to it. Like a, like a flu. It's, it's, it's like a, well, it's like a little rascal, this one, isn't it? It's, 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 it's it's so lively, this beer. Really is a lively beer. Let's try and gulp some of this down. Oh. Oh. I am seriously in love with this beer. Look how lively that is. And this is a non-nucleated glass. You know, it is just fizz, fizz, fizz. Hence why we're having difficulty pouring it. If I'd have known it was gonna be lively, I would have poured it in a bigger, bigger jug. You know what I mean? Um, it is just fantastic. Tell when you when you want when you want a beer to the foam to flatten out on a beer it don't happen and when you don't want it to happen the beer goes flat as a pancake <laughs> it's unreal isn't it really it's a... this is so refreshing it is got a dry back end it's it's got the same sort of body to it as if I keep re reverting to Falou it's so so Falou like
it's a very, very lively beer. Now we've got the yeasty goodness in there. It's clouded up a bit. It's a bit um, like drinking a hopus, what we've done here now. We've now added the added the, the, gr the grounds in. It's now turned to a real haziness. Now, I'm expecting this to taste a little bit different now. So let's see. Oh yes, the, the sharpness, the, the, the flu-like sharpness, now's gone. It's become more, oh, more rounded. It's become smoother. It's now got the wheat element to the beer. I can actually taste a little bit of ginger there. This is a beer that's similar the way that it's happened to be poured today because it's such a lively little number. This is a beer that's similar to um, a hopus, how you pour a hopus and then you have the, the little glass which you put the, ground, the grounds in and you take a sip of the hopus as it is and then you add the grounds and it totally transforms the beer. Um, we totally transformed this beer by when we, as soon as we poured the the end of the bottle in, and as you can see, you know, from first impressions to now, it's a totally different looking beer. Um, it tastes a lot different as well. Um, I really like this beer. just it's just well brewed you know there's no ifs or buts about it um, Stefan has is he's he's a master he really has brewed a great beer here I look forward to trying some of his others as well he's got some other beers in the range but this is awesome 10 out of 10 really really good um it's flavorful you know that hint of ginger the coriander the floral hops that candied sugars and yeasts it's just got everything about it that just screams belgium What a great beer. What a great beer. Now, I also, I understand this beer that uses the, the magnum and the golden hops in it. So he uses the, the, the Vienna, the Cara 20, the Pilsner, and the Belgian wheat malts, and it's also got in here fresh um, ginger root and coriander seed. Hence why I'm getting this this little bit of um, ginger in the background, and obviously the coriander. As we know, um, the Belgian brewers they love their coriander. So I'm really impressed with this beer. 
It's great, it's tasty, it's really good. So look, first things first, I'd like to thank Joe Buys for sending me this beer in. Um, thank you so much. This is absolutely fantastic, this, this pick a floor. Um, pick up a bottle, try and get hold of a bottle of this. He's got a website, um, um, www.pickafloor.be, okay? And you can go on there, he's got a shop, you can order it. So look, get yourself some of this beer, it's fantastic. Try it, see what you like, leave a comment below. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a review. Give us a big thumbs up if you like what you see. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches. Fireworks and always drink responsibly.